Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Vanukova Airport. Now finally I'm actually travelling somewhere and I'm here at the airport but my boarding card has a little bit of a bonus on it and I didn't realise this but I can go into the VIP lounge so I thought I'd take you for a little bit of a walk around and check it out. Fortunately for me I only live 12 minutes by taxi from Vunukova Airport, so getting here was super easy. Literally, it's just three roads, and I'm here, I'm literally this close to Vunukova Airport. Now, if you've not traveled through Moscow before, there is actually four airports in total. Uh, really, they use three of them, and then the fourth one is for a lot more domestic flights. Here at Vunukova Airport, they have international and domestic departures. And depending on where you're going. Now the airport PA system hasn't stopped since I've been here. And where we're going to go is the VIP lounge right in front of us. Before we walk in, I just want to show you something that's pretty cool. It's just in front of me here. And I wonder if anyone's tried one of these before. Up on this third level here, they've actually got a capsule hotel. I think they're actually called sleeping pods. Has anyone tried one of these at the airport before? Let me know in the comments, I never have. It would be kind of cool, I think. I don't know how claustrophobic I'd feel in them, but they look pretty space-like looking at them, these capsules. There's nobody staying in any of these right now, but if you're here for extended trips or connections between flights, uh, you could use one of these. Has anyone tried one before? Let me know. So the actual airport has four lounges there is two of them before security, which is this is one of them. And there's two of them after security. So we're going to go into this one right here. Now, there is a few different ways you can get entry here. Obviously, if you've got flight status with Uter, which is who I'm flying with, you would simply just walk in and show your boarding card. And there's these nice gentlemen right here who will help you out coming to do the check-in process. And I just noticed something really cool. Now, depending on the status that you've got, you don't even have to go to the normal check-in counters downstairs. They've got these private ones on this upper level here. How cool is this? Now, I don't have this privilege, but this is pretty fancy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in this lounge, and then we're gonna go through a secret security gate to get through to the departures level, and we're gonna go check out another lounge right afterwards. Now, I've never seen this before at any airport that I've been to, but They've actually got a little mini gift shop here. It's got lots of Russian souvenirs. Now, these are kind of more like antique souvenirs, but there's some pretty neat pieces and some very old pieces and I think some very expensive pieces as well. The other unique thing with this particular lounge being that it's before security, if you're flying out like I am and you get brought here by family or friends, you can actually bring your family and friends in here as uh, an accompanied uh, passenger who's not flying and then you can go onto your flight and they can go home or they can spend time with you in the lounge and you know rather than just drop you off and wave goodbye they can come in here and hang out as well now there is actually a bar here that's got drinks wine and beer so you can actually have a beverage and the thing that I spotted is a Dobro Cola uh, self-service machine right here with the cola, the orange and the lemon. Now I'd imagine this was Coca-Cola at some point, but it's now a Dobro machine. There is actually a small kids area as well, which is kind of nice if you've got young children and you want to distract them for a little while. They can watch some cartoons. We've got high chairs, which is nice if you're going to have something to eat. I think most people just want to see what food's on offer in this lounge now. It is late in the evening, so I would imagine at different times of the day they do change the menu, but there's some salads here. Very classic Russian salads, pickled cucumbers and a cabbage or cabbage salad, I think that one is. And then there's some desserts. And there's two types of soup. I've actually just had a look at these just before. There's actually one that's chicken soup. And of course, 
being that we're in Russia, there's Bosch. So if you're leaving Russia on a flight, you can get your last Bosch right here at the airport. And then I was just having a look here. There's pasta and there is a plof. Now some people call it pilaf. I call it plof. And there's even some pastries. And then I guess if you want to make toast, there's a toaster. I'm not sure if the chef's a little confused with what time of day it is. And there's some desserts here in the fridge as well. And a little bit of cheese and ham. Now, again, this is one of four different lounges at the airport. So there is different assortments depending on the one you go to. We are going to go and check out another lounge. And we're going to put this in the same video so that we can sort of see what the differences are like. But so far, this place is very handy. And the fact that it's all in the land side of the airport is very convenient because you're not actually going through security just yet. And if you want to bring your friends or family here, you could before you get on the flight and leave. How do you know that you're in a Russian airport? when you're here at the bar and they have caviar and king crab that you can actually pay extra for and have with your drinks and they've got the jars right here very similar to what you'd buy at a supermarket or at a market in Moscow but if you want to treat yourself to some caviar before your flight this is how you know you're in Russia overall I actually like this lounge Mostly for the fact that you can come through here before you actually even check in, before you actually go through security. So if you've actually got two different flights or with two different airlines, you'd actually be able to come in here with your luggage, like you see this person has. And then at the point when you're gonna travel on and connect to another flight, you can then go downstairs and check in. So everything that you're doing up here is essentially before security and it just makes it easier if you're arriving here early or you've got a long connection and it's not a big stress that you've got to sort of wait in the check-in area or in the area when you first walk in the terminal now one of the perks of staying in the lounge here you actually have a secret security entrance now you don't have to line up downstairs with everybody at the general security control literally we have our own personal security that we can go through that'll get us through to the air side of the airport and then to our boarding gate of course i can't film me going through security that's a pretty much a standard rule throughout the whole world when you come through the airport but what i really want to show apart from this escalator going down to the departures area this would have been the normal security ride here that we'd have had to pass through but we can bypass it and we can go downstairs now and find this next VIP lounge. I think that every airport in the world has these duty free shops and they also have them where you're meant to walk through them before you get to your gate. And it's kind of a trap in a way, but you know, really it's, you know, just wise and smart business for them to set up these shops as you go through. So again, this airport has international and domestic departures. Uh, Turkish Airlines has a lot of flights that leave from Vnukova. So if you're heading to Europe that way, you can also fly to Dubai from here. And this shop would be available to everybody. Now, because I'm flying internally in Russia, I can definitely walk through and have a look, but I can't do any shopping because we're staying inside Russian territory. Of course, the duty free is not complete if they don't have premium watches and jewelry and all the well-known brands are represented here. Actually, a lot of these brands have technically left Russia, but because this company that's operating the store here inside the airport is a European company, they've got everything more than available. We can see here Tag Heuer, there's Mont Blanc, 
and then over here Longines and Rado. Now after walking around the airport I found the second lounge that I want to stay in for a little while. This is called the Proc au Vive Premier Lounge. Now I'm sure I've got the name wrong. Apparently it's a very famous Russian person. Now this is actually a code share lounge. So with other airlines along with Uter and 24 hours a day it's open. Premier Lounge, Business Lounge. And they've got it repeated a couple of times. So of course part of my ticket I can come in here and enjoy all the functions. They've got the entrance here where you meet the nice lady. And I think every airport in the world has these clocks that tell you the times in different places. And this is the entrance walking in. Now I'm going to do a bit of a lap around and check it out. Places for your bags. There's some lockers. And as we walk in now, we're really in the airport proper and this huge ceiling right here is quite <laughs> overwhelming how big it is and you know it's not enclosed roofs so it just gives you that sense of space and there's lots of seats here and I noticed up the top here there's some comfy sofas there's places to plug in and charge up your devices and where I'm actually sitting is in the other corner there is also a tea and coffee station here and the best part about this lounge is you're overlooking the departure gates so it's kind of fun that you can see all of the gates and everybody else who's not up here in the fancy lounge like we are they actually have a kids area over here as well so the kids can play and hang out and do all the things they're meant to do I'll try to tire them out before the plane and I think, again, if you want to know that you're in Russia, these Yamaguchi sofas are everywhere in Russia. I think whoever that salesman is for those chairs, he's probably one of the richest men in Russia selling those things everywhere you go. I'm trying to be polite to everybody in here because of course a lot of people uh, want to come in here and relax and come to a bit of a quieter place than the main part of the airport so I am trying to kind of be quiet and you know take it easy when I'm talking so loud so hope it comes across okay let's have a look at the different food and drink options shall we there's a self-service cappuccino machine here and the coolest thing they've got beer on tap and they've got traveling with Russell right here in the mirror but you can literally help yourself to pour your own beer I guess it's called or self-serve beer and then the normal tea serve section pretty much famous in Russia anywhere you go there are some desserts and some more pastries and then I guess if you're confused what time of day you are you've got the breakfast cereals as well the one thing I found really interesting right here is they're serving real Fanta, real Sprite, and real Coca-Cola. And they've got the two liter bottles. Basically just grab a cup, pour your own. But how is that? What's going on? I thought all these brands left Russia, but no. And probably one of the more famous drinks, if you don't drink soft drinks or gassy drinks, they've got compote which is essentially a juice or natural juice that you can have. Has anyone had compote before? Let me know in the comments. There is actually sign plaques above all the food here, so I could probably read them and know what there are, but nice selection of salads and classic beetroot. I think there's no cafe in Russia that you can't get beetroot from. Minestrone soup mushroom soup and chicken noodle where's the borscht now we had borscht in the other lounge and also some nice olives and different peas and carrots and some small sandwiches and then more cakes or oh, look at all these different
cakes right here. Very nice. Bird's milk. Tell me, have you had bird's milk cake? And part of this lounge, you've also got a full bar service as well. So there's plenty of different things to choose from. Everything seems to be in miniature form though, but there's definitely bar service in here. If you didn't want just the pour your own beer. Even peanuts right here on the counter. But plenty of choices. If you want some wine or alcoholic drink before your flight. Okay, so I found myself a nice seat to sit down. Now, of course, the Australian style is you always sit next to the buffet, so you don't have to go very far if you want to get second, uh, seconds. Now, I thought I'd give the Coca-Cola a try now. This actual Coca-Cola is from Kazakhstan. Now, to be all honest, this is Coca-Cola. It's made in Kazakhstan, but I just find it's not as gassy and not as fizzy like the normal coca-cola should be so i'm not sure what's going on i got myself a nice little sandwich and then these chicken drumsticks here they kind of coated in a peanut sauce but they're actually really nice and i got myself a little side serving of peas so i'm going to enjoy a little snack and then eventually i'm going to get myself down to the plane before I head to my flight, I wonder from this board, is there somewhere that you might like to fly to now? Predominantly a lot of the flights on this board are domestic flights, there are a few international ones. And essentially, this airport is 24 seven. There is only a two hour uh, overnight window where there is no flights uh, departing literally from 2 a.m till 4.30 or so. And otherwise all the rest of the flights are good to go tomorrow. So let me know in the comments, where would you fly to if you had a chance to be at the airport tonight like I am? Okay, so we've come to the end of the video and I just wanna give you my final thoughts on the two different lounges that I used. So there's one that was before security and one that was afterwards. And of course, having the VIP status for this trip. Now I really do want to thank Ut Air and the lady that reached out to me that's actually a channel subscriber. So thank you so much. It was all a little bit lucky for everything to kind of coordinate with tonight. So now checking in was super easy. The guy was really nice and very simple check-in process. Uh, going to the lounge before security was actually really a nice experience. It's a little bit louder in there because it's a little bit more open than here in the second lounge that I was at. The uh, cool thing though was that you had that secret security entrance to get down to the, uh, the floor where I am here. So literally there was no security line essentially, which was really nice. And I had some snacks there. And then the second lounge, which I've just walked out of now, was actually a little bit uh, more of a buffet food offering. And I had three slices of honey cake. So thank you so much to whoever put honey cake there on the menu today, it was really delicious. <laughs> Maybe I should have had just two, but, and also I had Fanta and Coke here <laughs> in Russia. Isn't it strange that all these things that have left Russia, but they're still here. So yeah, the uh, lounge staff were also very nice. And I'm gonna find my gate now. I know it's not too far ahead of me here. So I really hope you liked the video. I hope you like this experience of me showing you the different lounges here at the airport. If you're getting a chance to fly through Vanukova, maybe see if you can get a chance to come into the lounge. Maybe you have that status already, or you've got a credit card or some sort of a way to come in here. There is a payment option as well, but just depends on how you're flying through the airport. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It will be really nice, a thumbs up. If you didn't, I guess you can do a thumbs down. That's really up to you. Uh, post a comment, let me know what you think of my experience here at the airport. It is a little bit dark in here. I guess in the evenings they put the mood lighting on. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think. I have put another video for you to watch right after this one. Maybe you wanna watch something a little bit older on the channel. 
and I'm about to board my flight. You're going to see some new videos from where I'm traveling to very soon. And I'm off on another adventure. Bye, everybody.